Welcome everybody. I'm very happy to be with you in this event, the CIO 200 Roadshow. I would like to thank GEC Media Group for these uh, valuable events and conferences that they are always organizing. Uh, in this uh, speech, I will not talk about digital transformation, which we all know. I'll be talking about digital acceleration and the impact of pandemic and what opportunities are rising in front of us. Uh, this world has gone through many uh, iteration, uh, iteration and changes. Uh, if we go back on the 17th century, when they discovered the water power, there was a, a change. And whenever they in, uh, find a new source of power or they uh, develop the uh, trans transportation or communication, there is a major change. So it have taken the way first wave 60 years to this for this change to be, uh, let's say, spreading and to be adapted. Uh, maybe much shorter uh, in, uh, with the, when they discovered the steam power and shorter when they discovered the electricity. Uh, and you can see from the uh, picture in front of you, every time they discover a new source of power or new source or way of communication, the wave reduced in terms of duration and increased in terms of impact. And you can see this more when they discovered or introduced the internet. And more they were expecting when, with AI, IoT, robots, robotics. But what happened in, uh, recently when COVID-19 came, no, this is, became much, much shorter. And the impact is very high and very deep. And this is clear. Yani we, any restaurant, they don't serve uh, delivery. They are not uh, in business. Uh, education became online. People they were working from uh, from off, from home, not from office. Distance working. So all these change, nobody can imagine that would happen. And these waves are reducing in terms of size, increasing in terms of depth. And I promise you that you will not rest. Digital transformation is very important and uh, well understood in our region. And you can see Bahrain as the number three in terms of uh, adapting to a number of uh, variables in the transport tra transformation index. We all know that digital transformation is not business enabler. It is business a driver. And that's why all these countries, including Bahrain, they, they were uh, very keen. So you find there is a strategy for the digital transformation. There is a number of initiatives and there is drivers like in Bahrain, there is IGA or e-government authority. And it is, it is not an easy task. It is not a website that you will put the content on it. It is not also only processes or interconnected processes. It is a change and change does not involve technological uh, challenge. It does not involve um, uh, uh, understanding the current needs only, it involves people, acceptance, awareness, adaption. This is the challenge. So there is bright, brilliant, excellent systems. They fail because of this. But when COVID-19 came, everything has changed. We never, been, um, uh, we never imagined that we will be able to work from home. We never uh, uh, accepted the idea that people could learn from online. I posted this uh, image, which you see now in uh, LinkedIn. Actually, I, yeah, I, although I have large number of uh, audience, but I'm not always having a lot of images interact with a lot of interactions. In two weeks, this picture have uh, got 20,000 views and more than 300 likes. The question was, who led the digital transformation of your company? Normally it is the leader, the CEO, or the CTO, because he knows the business. But we never thought that COVID-19 will make it. Made the people accepting the law working from home, uh, business as well, 
people are understanding and accepting learning. They don't want to stop learning. So everything being accepted because of COVID-19, because of the emergency, because of the need. And actually that's why uh, Sat Satya, he, uh, the Microsoft CEO, he said, we have seen in two years worth of digital transformation equivalent to two months. You can imagine this, two years of work in two months only. And this have been uh, reflected to everything. Interaction in digital uh, economy have been troubled compared to 2018 and doubled in terms of adoption to technology. So every organization using technology, they've been almost double compared to last year. And uh, the acceleration have expanded. You can see that 90% of organizations, at least they have 50% of their workforce working from, uh, from home. And we expect this to last for some time, or at least for many organizations, especially international who are adapting to best practices, they will be fair people working from their home in a state of consuming power, energy, uh, uh, space, whatever, and let them work in their uh, own base. At the end, if they deliver what I want, that's it. I don't need no. I, need, I don't need any more. And you know the trends are continuous. Every time Gartner uh, uh, surprises us with new with the new things, Internet of Behaviors, after Internet of Thing, and Internet of Everything. And cloud, now we are uh, thinking about a local cloud. Uh, it will be, uh, there will be less latency, more control, and uh, in terms of laws and uh, regulations, AI engineering, hyper automation, everything in your organization will be automated and much more. So what we expect with these expansion everywhere in every angle, and because of the impact of COVID-19, uh, this wave will continue and it is expected to reach 1000 billion dollar in terms of spending as uh, one example of well, how much we are exposed to the internet and to the you know, technology and how much we are transformed i remember in uh, 2000 or 1999 we had a one terabyte it was big number of storages, uh, you can say uh, one meter or more. Now we have, we'll have zettabyte and zettabyte equivalent to one billion terabyte. So you can imagine in 2000, in 2025, there will be one seven, 175 zettabyte of our data, of our sharing, images, via voices, information, documents, everything will be online available. This is huge. This shows how much we'll be depending on technology, as well how much there will be risk and uh, security threats. And this is continuous. We are working in different angles. Cloud is an angle, internet of thing, uh, artificial intelligence. But the idea now, if we go back to the first slide, the waves are shrinking in terms of depth, or sorry, in terms of uh, width, and uh, the impact is very high. And in the coming few years, you will find it faster, shorter, and higher in terms of, in terms of impact. So if you want to be leading and continue as your leadership, you need to be working hard uh, with no sleep. Thank you.